hi all this is tech guru welcome back to my tutorial this is this is my second tutorial on ptc creo 3 and this tutorial will be regarding family table how to create a family table using relations okay uh, family table are created using relations in case of standard components like nut bolt washers pins etc okay because the shape remains same the shape of the component always remain almost remains same what changes is the nominal value uh, either the size goes on increasing or uh, size goes on decreasing okay so today we will be dealing with family table using relations for nut okay i'll be taking a nut um, hexagonal metric nut as an example to demonstrate how a family table for standard components are created using relations okay and the nominal values for the nuts are d1 x d1 is the nominal nominal dia of the nut outer dia d2 is the dia and inside which the entire nut fits which is two times the nominal dia nut thickness is 0.9 into d1 chamfer chamfer value is 0.05 into d1 okay so we will use these relations these are the relations okay we will use these relations and create a family table okay first for that what we will do is we have first we will create a generic model for m8 bolt sorry m8 nut and from that generic model we will derive the other models okay so let's begin with that what we have to do first is we have to set the working directory okay so we'll go to drive and create a working directory vd3 then we'll create a part first we have to erase and then create a m8 nut m8 underscore nut okay the part is created now then we have to go to pre prepare model properties change the units if it's already set then no problem if it's not set then you have to change the units to millimeter kilogram seconds for metric threads then if you want you can apply material as steel with this our part is ready for creation we'll do we'll go with the first com first feature set it parallel to the screen nominal dia is 8 outer dia will accept it as it is for a while we'll set it and we'll accept the extrude as it is for a while then we'll go to tools and reshape the component okay we'll click on this then we want d2 to be two times d1 we want d naught to be 0 0.9 times d1 okay so this is done close say control g it's it's reshaped then control d and control s then we'll create next feature for hexagonal cut we'll pick the mid plane set it parallel then you will have to go to extrude pick the mid plane set it parallel go to palettes pick six sides hexagon and then here accept it as one is to one scale close then fix bring it in the middle done now what happens is now it's not done we'll do it again i picked it in advance palette pick it say one is to one done close bring it in the middle okay then we'll go to relations pick thought relations uh, reference we'll pick that portion then we'll coincide okay and then we'll create a circle outer circle we'll accept the diamond dimension of the outer circle as it is now 
then we'll delete it by saying both sides and we'll extrude this then we'll go back to tools relations we already have two we'll set the relation for extrude this this is equal to 0 0.9 times d1 this is 1.5 times d2 okay this is done regenerate now we'll go for chamfer i want the chamfer to be 0.4 for your mate go to tools relations add the chamfer relation pick d7 equal to it should be 0 0.05 times the nominal dia say okay okay paint it now we will have to make a chamfer cut on top for that we'll go to sketch one minute let's say then we'll go on top and create sketch okay make it pick this make it tangent okay it's done now we have to be careful we have to go create a point here at the intersection of this plane Con hold control button and this one so point is created now we have to create a revolve cut make it planar then pick this point as the reference and create a line which is 30 degrees okay complete the sketch now this is done complete the revolve cut it okay then the mirror the revolve on other plane okay now add the revolve in relations tools relations we need to be very careful here click on revolve we have to add 1.07 okay we have when we do it we need to have one angle and one linear dimension add this one point add it and make it 1.5 times the nominal dia i want it to increase or decrease with nominal dia at a rate of 1.5 okay so that's it model is ready for m8 okay go to layers hide all layers save the status Control g Control d and Control s okay now we'll go to model properties check if the dia is right m8 m16 yes 16 correct now we'll go for family table when we click on family table we we have a generic as m8 which we have to change to m10 because the next value is m10 m10 for us pick one more as m12 then this will be m14 now why did m12 come on top and m10 come on top so we will adjust it what happened no we will have to do it again this is m10 okay then one more where you click is important if you click at the wrong place it will go at the bottom so 
next is m12 click outside the table okay then m14 that's it 10 12 14 now here when you click on family table selection panel it shows a lot of uh, selection panel items but for us we will have to stick with the nominal dia so we'll pick m8 as dimension and then say ok for this 8 it is 8 for 14 it will be 14 for 12 12 for 10 10 ok click ok say again control G control D control S repaint it regenerate it go back to family table then check for verification all succeeds ok now click on M14 the first one there it is it opens without any issues let's check if the view will go to analysis dia and that is m14 that's okay say yes then close this then go to family table click on m10 and say open it opens yeah the relations which we have created will generate the model for different values of nominal dia m10 in this what happens the time is reduced we can create family table for a vast number of nuts and bolts in a very short period of time the only time that we consume is during the modeling of the generic model and relations and family table after that it's very easy so this is how a family table for standard components are created uh, you can try this example if you already know it's well and good if you don't know try it if you like it click the like button in youtube subscribe for my videos for future videos comment please comment whether you whatever is your uh, view on this tutorial and uh, wait for my next tutorial to come up thank you very much